Welcome to Colonel Jack's Destination. I'm Colonel Jack. This is Big Dog Jimmy. Uh, we're here to talk about Monday Night Raw, October 20th, 2014. Another Bray Wyatt uh, epic video package, vintage, uh, vintage, uh, what I uh, stumble in for some reason. Uh, you know, check out getting to know Colonel Jack, and you'll know why sometimes I say words all crazy and loopy lopty and sloopy sloppy and whatnot, have you. So, anyways, uh, Bray Wyatt cuts another epic uh, video package they did an excellent job putting this thing together with eric rowan and luke harper or is it luke harper and eric rowan uh, but anyways so they do an awesome job he says he's setting them free so they're going to go on their own separate paths i hope one eventually becomes the intercontinental champion and one becomes the united states champion uh, sometime down the road that'd be awesome uh, and then Bray Wyatt is a WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Something would be epic, even though he doesn't need it because he's so awesome. He doesn't need to be the WWE Champion, just like certain guys in the past and history have not needed to be the WWE Champion, uh, you know. But anyways, uh, but it still would be awesome. It would be, like, very sweet and sick and nasty if he could someday be the WWE Champion. I hope he does actually become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion to cement his legacy even furthermore. But anyways, uh, the video package to talking about it's coming something's coming they keep showing a lady with pregnant uh pregnant lady she seems pregnant anyways a lady with a belly uh you know where it kind of looks a little pregnant uh and whatnot and it says it's coming on it uh you know so i can make some jokes about that but anyways so um you know, I think that they're going to end up debuting a, uh, that Bray Wyatt is going to have a female in the Wyatt family, uh, come and join him, uh, you know, when he, uh, re-arrives in the WWE on Raw, you know, or maybe he shows up at Hell in a Cell and does something and debuts her, uh, you know, which would be awesome. I think it could possibly be uh, ODB, old dirty uh, bitch. Uh, I think it is what they call her from the uh, from TNA. She was one of my favorite TNA uh, yeah, knockouts from over there. Was ODB. She was. She was. Uh, they recently uh, failed to renew her, which she was the uh, you know the diamond in the rough that they had over there that they didn't use properly in my opinion. But anyways, uh, you know, it could possibly be karma. But it's a white woman. The karma's black. So, um, you know, it wouldn't be karma. It would be somebody uh, who's Caucasian and whatnot. So there's different possibilities. It could be somebody that we've never seen before. Uh, there are a couple of uh, women on the, uh, you know, independent scenes that I would like to see come up and over, like uh, Taylor Hendricks or... Uh, there's some other ones and whatnot. Uh, she would actually make a very interesting one. Maybe uh, somebody who used to be in the WWE is coming back. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Big Dog Jimmy says no matter who it is, what it is, he cannot wait. And he's looking forward to it because he has missed seeing the Wyatts uh, beat down uh, different guys in the WWE. He had never liked it when they lost. He always liked it when they won and when they were on a tear. And he's looking forward to the Wyatt family, Lula, Harper, Rowan, and Wyatt to come back.